Well, this is Steve Ridgell, and I thought I'd take a moment today and encourage you to pray the evangelism prayer. We talk a lot about reaching people for Jesus, and I tell people that starts with praying for people, praying for the people you want to reach for Jesus. But I'll tell you some things that we ought to include in that, and I will tell you I've prayed this prayer all around the world for lots of churches, lots of Christians who want to reach people. I, I pray this prayer frequently uh, for Marsha and I, my wife Marsha and I, for the people we want to reach. So here's how you pray the evangelism prayer. You you pray for the people specifically by name that you want to reach. Now, I have a friend, Todd Hooper, who just prays for God to bring him people he doesn't know. That's great. I have other people that specifically target one person they want to reach. My wife and I keep a list of people we're trying to talk to about Jesus. But here are the things we pray for them. We pray for God to work in their lives, that they'll see the need for Jesus, that they'll be open to hearing about Jesus, that maybe a circumstance in their life or, or maybe their heart gets softened to the point where they'll want to hear something about Jesus, that when we say a word about Jesus, they'll be open to that. So we certainly want to invite God to, to bring people into our lives who are ready to hear. But here's some specific things that we ought to include in that prayer. We ought to ask God to help us recognize the opportunities. Looking back, I think I've missed chances to talk to people about Jesus because I just wasn't perceptive enough. So I try to listen really hard for implied questions or things that may be giving me an opportunity uh, to speak a word to say, would you like to hear why it's important to us. I, would you like to hear our story? Would you like to hear a Jesus story? Would you like to know more about? However that goes, but I want to be sure I recognize those opportunities. Another thing I think is appropriate to pray is for God to give us the right words. You know, I have people a lot of times say, I'd talk to somebody, I just don't know what to say. I'm afraid I'll say the wrong thing. Ask God to bless you and give you right words. His Holy Spirit will do that. I, I, you know, I think, but I, here's the real key. Saying anything is really usually better than saying nothing. Maybe you could have phrased it a little better. Maybe, you, But you know what? Just ask. Ask people. Speak to people. Say, you know what? Here is why Jesus is important. I would like to share this with you. Here, Speak. But I ask God for a little wisdom to not just recognize the opportunity, but to know what to say. But here's the other part of that prayer. We need to ask God for the courage to speak. It's awful easy to say, well, I'm not sure the time's right. I'm not sure what to say. Maybe they won't listen. Maybe I'm not the one. Maybe we've got, we can come up with a million excuses and reasons why not to talk about Jesus. But here's what I'm absolutely convicted about. We need to be courageous. We need people who are not afraid or ashamed or intimidated to talk about Jesus. So ask God to give you courage. So pray for the person you want to reach Ask God to help you recognize when the opportunity is there to speak. Ask him to help you know what to say. And then ask him for the courage to say it. Because I believe the kingdom growth is coming. And we want to be a part of that. So let's pray so hard that as happened in Acts, that our whole church is shaken by the power of God to reach people for Jesus.